For nearly two decades, Gulf Guam has been under a pay scale far behind the national average, 59% behind, according to a study by the Hay Group. Here's what it would mean to close that gap. Right now, the entry-level salary per year for a housekeeper is just over $15,100. Under the Hay Plan, the starting salary would be bumped up to about $17,700. Under the Hay Plan, an auto mechanic supervisor making $26,500 a year would start instead at just over $37,000. They're not addressing the market for labor. They have created a level of pay irrespective of the market. And they're trying to say that this is the market. It is not the market. Andy Andres with the Guam Employers Council has worked on wage issues on Guam for more than 20 years. He believes it doesn't make sense for the Hay Group to use mainland wage averages on Guam. The U.S. is 3,000 miles wide, four time zones, and millions of, <laughs> how many hundreds of millions of people. And so where, where is exactly is the average wage being derived there? And I just don't think that the average is applicable here to Guam. And it would be expensive. To reach just the midpoint of the new pay scale would cost GovGuam and taxpayers an additional $43 million a year. I think it's fair in its analysis, uh, but the pragmatic question is, can we afford it? I think the question is, can we afford not to? Um, after 18 years of, of, of waiting. I don't have anything against that. If we pay them a little bit more, but we get a bit, uh, better service, I'm okay.